guys welcome back to another video or if you are new my name is Vanessa thanks for stopping by I typically share a grocery haul in the beginning or towards the beginning of each week but um, I am switching things up a little bit just to work with my schedule a bit better but I am totally changing things this week because we had a little snafu and I'm not quite sure when I'm actually going to the grocery store for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys today, as you already probably saw by the title and the thumbnail, what I have on hand at this point in time during the summer. We are about a month-ish out from school starting for my kids. They start later on in August. So I thought it's been a little while since I've taken you guys inside my fridge, my pantry, the freezer, all that kind of thing. So I'm gonna share with you guys what we have on hand instead of a grocery haul this week and I'll show you why uh, things have been a little pushed back <laughs> for the grocery shopping um, for this week for me to share it with you guys like I normally do. All right, so first up, I am gonna show you guys just what drinks we have on hand in this little drink fridge. This is my little coffee station, if you haven't seen this before, but we do have a bucket in the middle of the floor because when I woke up this morning and I came in to feed the dogs, I almost slipped and fell on my behind because this whole area was full of water. It wasn't like right, like puddles and puddles it was just wet coming all into the kitchen it was extremely wet and as i walked in here i slipped i'm thankful that this is such like a smaller area that i was able to catch myself before falling but i think you'll see it better if i turn off the light or one of the lights yeah do you see the ceiling there <laughs> we have a bit of a plumbing issue and i just have to try to look at the bright side and giggle a little bit because it's not the end of the world. It is fixable. Um, Mark actually stayed home today. It is a Monday when I'm filming this, so he can, you know, be here. When we have people look at this and try to fix it, but we were able to catch it before like a lot of damage was done. This is just wet and we were told that hopefully, um, most likely it will just dry out. We won't have to replace anything, maybe just some painting, um, but we shall see. But there's also water in the light. <laughs> so, oh goodness. Yeah, it was just, that's where it's dripping from. It's dripping from the light. Well, it's not dripping anymore. It hasn't for several hours now. It, it is already afternoon on Monday, but yeah, that's what we were dealing with this morning. And Mondays are normally when I get myself to the grocery store. That way I can have time to film, edit all of that and share it with you guys. But anyway, that's why things have been pushed off and I've just changed plans for this week. Okay, so in our little beverage fridge here, I did not put down when I go to the grocery store, I'm not gonna buy any of these types of drinks because I feel like we definitely have enough to get us through another week, uh, possibly even two weeks. So up here is kind of just like the adult items um, that we have, we rarely drink. I've had this for a long time. Maybe I'll make a note to drink this so I can use it up tomorrow as my breakfast. But we've got some Coke Zero Sugars right here. In this one is my sparkling water. Definitely enough to get me through another week. And then we had a huge thing of Coke, so I can go ahead and probably move these up here. And that way all the Cokes are there, but we've only got two. I might pick up like a Dr. Pepper, just because I like to switch it up. And these are definitely my favorite right now. So the Dr. Pepper cream soda, zero sugar. I also really like the cherry. So if I see one, then I might go ahead and pick up another 12 pack, we shall see. And then the kids Gatorade, well, my husband drinks these as well. So um, we got plenty of Gator Gatorades for another week. And then down here, we've got, this one doesn't like pull out really, it kind of just sits here, but We've got some juice boxes and then just a few of the Sprite Zero Sugars, the mini cans that I picked up last week for the kids. So we've got a few of those left over. So definitely enough to get us through another week. Like I said, I might just go ahead and add, cause I don't have it on there right now, um, like a specialty soda, like a flavored one to have just to change things up. All right, so now we are to the fridge. And actually I'll just open up the door here first. We've got, some condiments. We are low on the Chick-fil-A sauce, so I did write that down on my grocery list. And then down here, um, we are totally out of milk. So I definitely need to pick up some milk. I've got some soy sauce. I have enough creamer to get me through another. Actually, Mark's been having some coffee and he's very heavy handed on the creamer where I'm just like 
boop, he's like, he holds it for a few seconds. So I might go ahead and put another creamer on my list too, just in case. And then the other day I was in Target. We have started shopping back to school because Target had a deal the other day on their back to school supplies. So I started shopping for those and I happened to see this. And well, this was not in the school supply section, but I was picking up some groceries. We went to my parents' house for the weekend and we brought some food. And I always like to try the new Stella Rosa flavors and they have a lemon lime. So maybe this will taste like lemonade. I'm excited. So got that chilling so we can have that with the dinner this week, but my fridge is beeping. I've been talking for too long, but that's what we've got in the door. Got some butter down there. Definitely don't need any more of that. All right, now let me open up the entire fridge and this door is not gonna stay oh it is staying open a bit good we've got the little wall here sometimes it for, prevents that from staying open okay on this door we've got a little bit of sour cream I might pick up another one possibly it just depends I need to double check my meal plan but we've got some like drink things that we mix in some maple syrups that Paige likes to use but she's actually not here she's out of town until the very end of July I've got some beef broth here, heavy whipping cream, more stuff that Mark, Mark is like the mixer, the bar, the bartender. He likes to make mixed drinks, whereas I like wine and you'll see when we go to the outside fridge, already made drinks. I um, mean, and just some more stuff down here. We've got some egg whites. I actually picked this up last week, but that was a recipe I pushed. I never got to it. So I'll be making that this week and then some more just like drink things. Paige likes to add the caramel into her coffees and then the kids like to make strawberry milk. We've got the whipped cream that the kids like to add on to different things. So that is what is in this door. Okay, and now to the inside of the fridge. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. We've still got plenty of snacking cheeses. I've got these little like cheddar cheese and Colby Jack ones, the string cheese, just a few baby bells left. I'm not quite sure what was in here, but it's gone <laughs> now. Over here, I've got some cream cheese for bagels and then these little brie wedges that I picked up for Paige, but of course she's been out of town, so I might try a few of those this week. And this was something I ordered online. I didn't realize, well, I mean, it told me that when I got it in, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of chocolate bars. And you can tell the favorites of the kids, but I did order like the big, bundle from Mr. Beast um, for the kids. Like you can, he gives away stuff. You can scan the codes and things like that. So as the kids eat them, they're like scanning the codes and they've really, really enjoyed it. And they're actually really good. I only had a little bit of one so far, but everybody's been enjoying them. Definitely when like the kids go places, they take a couple to their friends. So it's been nice, but we've got those in there. Okay. Over here, I've got a kiwi that somebody took a bite out of oh my gosh so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and that way the kids can um, finish this off today and then i did pick up some strawberries when i went to target for the school supplies to take to my parents house and this is what is left from those and this one is our veggies so all we have we have still quite a few of the cucumbers left over in here so i might go ahead and just cut these up um, that way they're more readily available for the kids. And then I've got some celery that is left in here, but that's it for veggies. And this little turntable, just a few various items. Mainly it's things that Paige uses, so these aren't really getting used a whole lot. We've got some lemon and lime juice, almond butter, a few different sauces, and then some pickles. We've got some orange juice, so I don't need to pick up any orange juice. I feel like this is plenty to get us through another week. This is also something that I made to take to my parents' house. House, It's Fiesta Ranch Dip. It's almost completely gone though, so we'll be able to finish that off today. We've got some tortillas. We made some breakfast tacos the other morning. Might do that again one day this week. The kids really enjoyed that, but when we did make breakfast tacos, we used the rest of the eggs, so this is completely empty. It's already washed. I just put it back in here, so definitely need to pick up some eggs. Here's another little turntable with some just odds and ends. It's easier for us to grab them. I love these in here so we've got some jellies I picked these up from Target also I did not film that haul but um, we had some English muffins Mark and I finished off this weekend and we didn't have any jelly for it so I went ahead and picked up three different kinds so we could have them going forward I am gonna add English muffins to my grocery list as well so I've got some apricot jam the strawberry and the grape 
We've got some cherries here that the kids like to add on different things. Some salsa cottage cheese left over from a week or two ago. Also got some buttermilk here. I'm gonna make some ranch. And then this kimchi isn't even open. Paige got it shortly before she went out of town. So this will still be good for her when she gets back. This bin right here is all like the bready items in here. So we've got half a bag of hot dog buns. I'm gonna make hot dogs for the kids one day for lunch. This is hamburger buns. The kids like to use the hamburger buns in place of toast and make grilled cheese in the little dash like sandwich maker. Then I've got some mini bagels left here and then in the back are some corn tortillas that Paige likes to use. Okay, up here we use lemon and limes for drinks. I like to make dirty Coke sometimes. So we've got some lemon and lemons and limes here. And then in this one is kind of like all of our cheeses so I've got some shredded cheese I've got some parm cheese and then this is monster cheese yeah I'm gonna buy some sandwich stuff so we can use that up and have sandwiches for lunch one day over here kind of like the meat like the snacky meat so we've got some hot dogs some salami mini pepperoni and then the crumbled bacon the real bacon pieces that we like to add to salads and then over here I think I can actually put this in here because this is like the kids snack zone but this is go -Gurch. so I'm just gonna swap that out real quick I'm gonna put this empty one up here I'll find something for that or it'll just stay empty and then I'll put this in here so the kids see it a little better so there we go I've got some go -Gurts in there now for the kids but that's it that's all that I've got in my fridge this fridge definitely doesn't like you to keep it open for very long which is nice because sometimes the kids will open this door and not close it completely and like that and it'll ding at me which I really enjoy but for filming purposes I had to close that and reopen it quite a bit all right so that's what's in the fridge now we're gonna go to the freezer and in here I kind of have it separated so the top here has breakfast items in it we've got some kolaches just a couple breakfast burritos then over here, I've got these blueberries in here. I picked these up a couple weeks a couple weeks ago fresh, and as they were starting to turn a little, I grabbed a cup, put them in the freezer. I'm gonna make some blueberry muffins. We've got some bananas in here. I'm gonna make some banana muffins. And then over here, this is actually from Wild Grain. We've tried a couple things so far. It is super yummy. It's a kind of like a subscription box that you get in the mail, and it's all fresh baked breads and not just bread but these are belgian waffles we have not tried these yet i'm excited about they, them they look so good but you just keep them in the freezer and bake them up whenever you're ready so we've got those in here i've got some waffles in this reusable bag that i made a while ago just a few are left in there that bag down there has pancakes in it i've got these little mini pancakes from trader joe's i've got half a bag of some hash brown like the little itty bitty bites hash brown bites and then there's only a few of these left i might cook these up one day for breakfast too so we can get rid of this bag but these jimmy dean breakfast nuggets there's just a few just one more servings worth for our family left in there so that's all breakfast stuff that we've got and then in here kind of like the lunch items but also i've got a bag of fruit i bought this to make smoothies but then we had some smoothie packets sent to us to try so we've been using those but we're almost out so i'll be able to start using this mixed fruit blend that i picked up pearl mainly loves having smoothies so we make those quite often for her i've got these spicy chicken sandwiches a neighbor gave us a while ago and the only two in the house that eat them are mark and pearl so they've been taking a little while to go through them they were outside in the freezer i brought them in here so they're more, more noticeable they see them i've got two different kinds of taquitos in here i cooked up a couple weeks ago um, those will last us a little bit longer though because that box is really big and then i have just a little bit of chicken Chicken nuggets probably two meals worth left in here for the kids for a quick lunch during the week and then this is the like dessert bin and we're definitely not going through the ice cream <laughs> that quick I filmed a like little Debbie ice cream video a while ago I feel like I'm gonna have to look that up and see how long ago that was but well, we're definitely not huge fans of the ice cream. They're all okay. It's just my kids prefer like ice cream cones and that kind of thing. So we might end up, I don't know, 
I'll, I'll chat with the kids and see if they're gonna end up eating these or if I should just toss them. But we do have these little ices. I don't remember when I picked these up, but um, they've been eating them every now and then. But like I said, they definitely prefer more of the like ice cream cone type of thing, like the drumstick. So those have been in there for quite a while, but that's everything that I've got in the freezer in the house. But we do have a big like stand up freezer in the garage that I'll show you guys after we go through the pantry. All right, now to go into the pantry. I have not updated the meal plan yet. This is last week's. All right, so here's my pantry. Definitely, it's been a work in progress, kind of trying to figure out where to put things and all of that, but I did start using all of the home edit bins. That's what I have in the fridge also. I didn't say that, but the bins that are in my fridge and the turntables are mostly home edit. I think the one that the lemons and limes are in are eye design or that's an eye design one. I have a mixture. So in the pantry, same thing. Some of them are eye design from Amazon and then some of them are home edit from Walmart. So up at the top, I've got some pastas and just like some various dinner items. I got breadcrumbs. Um, I have quite a few things that I've gotten from every plate that we never made the meal. So I just save them to use whenever. So that's kind of what is up here. Right here, this is what we use in salads. My kids love them. We've got sunflower seeds and croutons. So I just stuck them right here. Then we've got some various oils, salts and peppers, and baking items. So I've got like a couple different kinds of cake mixes up here, some puddings, and then we've got marshmallows, chocolate chips, and a box with like several brownie mixes in here. I need to start making these because I'm pretty sure they expire probably by the end of this year. I'm not sure. I bought it a while ago and I think I've only made one <laughs> from it. So definitely don't make brownies that often. I probably will add that to my meal prep list for this week. All right. Then coming down to the next shelf, I have again, just like various items, canned items that I use for dinners and snacking and stuff. So I've got some Alfredo sauce, some roasted garlic bread spread. And here is all chickpeas. Paige uses this a lot. Then right here, I've got some black olives. I've got some corned beef hash. I'm really the only one who eats that. I love it. And then a can of pumpkin. And here I've got some marinara sauce and some like the Lipton like noodle packets. Back here, Paige really likes these to make for lunches. So that's kind of her thing. And then in here, we've got some more like dinner items. I've got some biscuit mix. This is actually from the Dollar Tree. And then I have some stuff that I bought from Louisiana that I still haven't made yet. So I've got this jambalaya dinner mix and the hush puppies. I definitely need to add that to a meal plan. Meal plan. I've got some saffron rice. I actually had plans to use this, use this a few weeks ago and never did, but that'll be quick and easy to add to a dinner at any time. Another biscuit mix and some stove top. I've got this little Lazy Susan here that just has some various items on here. We've got some barbecue sauce, red hot wing sauce, another sauce that Paige picked up, um, some beer mustard dip, a tomato soup, sun-dried tomato paste, red curry paste, all that kind of thing. Then over here, uh, I just put these here just because they fit, but <laughs> these are the soft baked clusters I got from Sam's Club. I'm really the only one who likes them. So it's definitely going to take me a little while to get through this, but they're lemon blueberry. They're super yummy. Then I've got, I have this, I think I ordered this from Amazon or I got it from Walmart and they like mailed it. But Paige and Pearl love boba. Um, right here it's called instant bubble tea, the taro latte um, with real boba. So I got that for them. There's only a few packets left in there. we got some various beans. I think in here it's all black beans and ranch style beans. And then over here we've got some more cans. We've got some SpaghettiOs, some grilling beans, coconut milk, tomato sauce, different like what is back there? Petite diced tomatoes. This is kidney beans and then some rotels. I've been kind of utilizing this as I've been making our dinner plan, going back and forth, making things. And then also Kira and I are working on a cookbook. So I've had to buy 
a lot of stuff, but we're almost done with that. So I'll be able to utilize more of what, like the randomness that I've got going on here in the pantry. All right. The next shelf is a lot of pages. So if you guys are new pages, my 18 year old daughter, she loves to cook. So she has her own stuff that she has me pick up for her, but we've got some of her stuff in here and here and these two as well. That's all her stuff that she uses. And this little roundabout, I've got some chili sauce or um, like seasoning packs, some tomato paste, some capers, and some black bean salsa. Like I said, just randomness. I just threw things wherever they would fit in this pantry. Try to do the best. All right, on this little stair climber here, I've got some peanut butters that we're slowly going through. I need to check the expiration dates on these. I think they're all like by December. So I feel like we'll be through with them, but I won't buy them again. The kids aren't as huge of a fan of these as I thought they would be. So um, we probably won't pick up the American Dream Nut Butters again. I really love the coffee one, but I don't want to buy like it just for that. So a lot of people love this stuff. My kids, unfortunately, are just not fans and I don't eat a whole lot of peanut butter. So um, once we're through with that, I'll be able to use this for something else. Um, my husband, however, loves peanut butter, but he likes regular peanut butter. So this little peanut Peter Pan creamy peanut butter, he has like a spoonful. Actually, he really hasn't been doing that lately, but for the most part, he has like a spoonful every single day at some point during the day. And then back here, I've just got some cookie butter that the kids use occasionally. Not that often. They're just not on a peanut butter kick right now. So it's been taking us, this has been in my pantry for a while. It's been taking us a while to go through it. All right, I've got some pear halves, a key lime pie filling can right there. Then over here, we've got some raspberry preserves. I actually didn't even realize that we had these when I bought the stuff for in the refrigerator that I've got the jams and stuff. Oh, I'm it's tight. It's tight in this pantry. Once you start walking back here, I'll show you guys. Um, and then we've got some molasses, honeys. What is this? Oh, blue agave sweetener. Paige likes that as well. Um, this is freeze dried raspberries that I made in my freeze dryer. I'm actually going to share that. I've got some questions or I've gotten some questions over on Instagram because I've been sharing when I make things and I'm going to film that me making something in an upcoming meal prep. So I'll be able to share that with you guys right here we've got some popcorn how much is left in here four there's four <laughs> bags of popcorn left in there um this container has some rice in it and then we've got some mac and cheese some trail mix pop tarts these are little fruit cups we've got some yogurt covered pretzels back here some ritz and then in here what do we got cranberries some pine nuts um, or not pine nuts. This, this is slivered almonds. I like to mix this with green beans and garlic and salt and pepper and butter in a skillet and it is super delicious. And then I think this is cashews. Yeah. Then we've got some cashews there. I hope I'm not talking too fast, but I know this, these can get kind of lengthy. So I'm trying to do the best that I can. Um, this is freeze dried taffy. My kids absolutely love it. <laughs> I am not the hugest fan of it. I prefer like the smaller candies that are freeze dried. Um, the taffy just gets really, really big, but they love it. So I made some of that for them. We've got some, this is kind of Mark's thing right here. So he loves macadamia nuts. He's got, I'm actually surprised we still have this cause I haven't been to Trader Joe's in forever, but he's got the sweet and spicy pecans here, some beef jerky packets, and then he likes to drink apple cider vinegar or not like drink this, but add it into water in the morning. So he's got that. Then over here are just some snacky things that I mainly eat. The kids are over the nature's bakery fig bars, but I love them. I just don't eat them enough. So I've got some bars here that I've had for a while. Definitely need to um, make myself snack on these so I can eat them up. And then I don't even know how long ago I bought this, but I did buy it with the intention of trying to go through the peanut butter, <laughs> but I'm just not a huge fan. So I got these lightly salted rice cakes. I'm going to have to try to um, eat those up with that peanut butter so we can get those gone from the pantry. Okay. And then the last or the bottom shelf, this is all um, animal stuff down here. We've got cat and dog food, but as far as the human food right here, slowly making my way. If you guys saw all the breakfast boxes that I bought a while ago, like the beginning of summer, we're slowly making our way through them, but we st we definitely still have plenty left. I've got some pancake, like waffle mix here, some, um, donut mix here. I opened one box 
but not the package inside because I never actually made it. I didn't realize that I actually needed a donut like pan for them to turn out as donuts. So I did order some donut pans so I can make these now. I'm excited about that. We've got some syrups. This is just maple syrup. It's just colored blue. Um, I'll have to ask the kids. We really haven't been using much of it. So I might see if somebody else in the neighborhood wants it or something. I don't think they were a huge fan. And then over here, I've got some granola. I really want to make the granola bars that Kira, my friend over at 50 Shades of Mom, she's made them a couple times in her meal prep and I've actually tried them from her. She brought some over one day and they were so good that I bought this mix and I just haven't made them yet. So I need to make some granola bars and then here's some more like waffle and pancake mixes. We've got some syrup right there. This is actually dog treats in here and medicine that the dogs take. I've got a basket of potatoes here, a basket of garlic and onions, and then all the chippy things right here. So um, all these chips that are opened are what I bought to take to my parents' house and we brought home. So we've been eating on those over the weekend. And then I've got a big bag of pretzel crisps right there. These late July garden ranch chips I bought a while ago and we haven't even opened them. So we've still got that, but that's all like the chippy stuff right there. And then let me stand back up. I'm kneeling down as we turn into the pantry. I do have some more food items right here. So this is kind of like the kids snack zone and some stuff that I bought for the freeze dryer. So up here, we've got the pho that I picked up at Costco. We've got some applesauce pouches and these are like cereal bars and Z bars right here. And then this one is kind of like a little bit of extras that we've got <laughs> left over for snacking. We've got some of the like bread sticks and cheese right there. This actually came in a food box that we get like a different country every month. So that's the last thing left over, little pig gummies. We've got some Rice Krispies back there or Rice Krispie treats. And then the Nutella and Goes. We've only got a couple of those down here. These are things that I've picked up that we just never use. So <laughs> those are from Easter, those little cotton candies. So they're still good though. They are not expired. So I just have those there. I'll pull them out maybe the next like time we have a movie night or something. I know the kids will enjoy them. And then these I actually picked up from the Dollar Tree. I recently went to the Dollar Tree and I just picked up some Skittles for me to freeze dry and some Airheads, the mini ones. I thought those would be yummy and then these are all like jelly beans that I picked up that we haven't eaten so I actually got these for Paige and she hasn't opened them yet I'm gonna ask her if I can freeze dry these I think that would be really cool they're all iced coffee flavored and I just think those would be really really yummy so I'm gonna ask her if she minds if I try to freeze dry them and then I've got some other little jelly beans right here and then these big bags i picked up to freeze dry but the freeze dryer used to be in the garage however it's so hot here in texas i don't think it was working correctly so we now have it moved into the house it still says like warm batch mode so i mean if you guys live in texas or you've seen it's a really really hot like abnormally hot summer and everything is just hot 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 so i don't know if it's running correctly but these didn't i try i tried to freeze dry these already and they didn't do anything so i hope i didn't buy these big bags for nothing but i can save these for like pinatas and um halloween and all of that so for birthdays and halloween so anyway i've got these two bags right there but i did buy those with the intent on freeze drying them here's all of my spices here i used to have a lot more i still feel like this is a lot but Here's all my spices. I'm not going to go over all of them, but there we go. I am addicted to Trader Joe's spices, but I don't use them hardly enough for as much as I buy. So I've got a good collection there. Um, this is brown rice. I have it separated just so I remember because I didn't label it and oats that I use to make um, when I make the dog some homemade food or when I'm baking stuff. So I've got that there. Other various like baking items, sprinkles, chocolates, extracts, all of that here. Little packets of different things. Here's the, where is it? Not that one, that's a spicy one. We haven't tried that one yet, but here's a Fiesta Ranch that is a family favorite. We love this stuff. So I've got that there. And then let me scoot back a little bit. The last of the food is all like, you know, baking and cooking and stuff. So I've got some spices, more spices and stuff there. Oh yeah, I did say that was all the spices. I lied. I forgot about this little turntable. <laughs> so I've got that there. More oils and things on here. 
um, cereal for the kids here. I actually picked these up from Amazon. Um, they're like connected. So this was one set and then that's one set. The kids really love them. They're super cute. And I don't have to worry about them dropping. They were dropping the cereal containers and busting them, the OXO ones. And those aren't cheap. So I was like, no, I'm going to I'm going to get a little fancy and do the turn ones. And these have been working great. So love that. Then down here, we've got more of the baking stuff. So I cornstarch. This actually, this one right here is actually stuff that Paige uses. We've got some cacao powder. Is that how you? Yeah, that's what that is. And then some chia seeds and things like that. This is all my sugar. So I've got brown sugar, powdered sugar, granulated sugar, all of that in here. There's a fly in here. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see him. He came in here when I opened the door. Almond milk. Um, Paige has taken her sweet time going through that because she's actually turned onto oat milk now. So this is going to be here for a while. It's pretty shelf stable though. I think it's good for a couple of years. So um, she just kind of drinks it whenever, making her way through it slowly. And then this little compartment has all the flowers in it. So we've got like regular flour, bread flour, cake flour. I've got some whole wheat flour in there. All things that I use for different baking and stuff. Definitely haven't been baking as often as I used to, but I'm looking forward to getting back into that as I try to use up everything that we've got on hand. I feel like it looks like a lot. Well, I don't feel like, I know. It looks like a lot, but it's all, you know, just random. Kind of hard to put together meals sometimes um, coming in here and trying to decide what I can pull and all of that. But a lot of like, I have a lot of baking stuff on hand. So a lot of seasonings and oils, like I said, and flours and sugar. So that's what the pantry looks like. Let me show you guys this real quick because I do get questions sometimes. So this is my dry erase board. <laughs> you can see I already wrote some things on here that I knew I wanted to add to my grocery list that we are either almost out of or completely out of. And then Paige has her own little section here that she adds to sometimes and then Pearl made herself a little section as well. But whenever we're out of something or the kids think of something that they want, the next time I go to the store, I tell them to write it on the board. And that way I won't forget it. It's here. And I always look at this board when I make my grocery list each week. Okay. Now we are out in the garage. That is not correct. <laughs> I need to, I am not good at keeping up with that. So I'm going to try now that we're, like I said, almost done with the crock pot cookbook and I can start utilizing what we have on hand. I'm going to refresh that and go to town because this is pretty, um, pretty stocked. I recently organized it. So first we'll go in the fridge out here. We mainly keep this extra fridge for like when we're having get togethers or when I buy things in bulk, which we're not really going to do that much longer we do have we stopped our costco membership and then our sam's membership i think we still have until like early next year so we'll still utilize sam's um, but mainly this fridge is for when we buy things in bulk or when we're having a party and we need to put things out here so i really love like how wide these shelves are for that so in here not much i did pick these trulies up where did i find these at I didn't remember, but I did take a few over to my mom's as well. And that way, when we go over there to go swimming and hang out, I have some of these. She's not a huge fan, so I know they'll just be for me when I go over. But I've got two left from that pack. Just don't remember where I bought them from. These two items up here are pages. What has she got? She's got some feta cheese. And what is this? Oh, garlic and herb soft spreadable cheese. So she's got that going on. Um, these are things that we picked up to take to my mom's or to my parents and we brought back home. So this is actually what the kids are having for lunch today. These two little trays, they were a dollar off because I think the date was like that day, but we've had them in the fridge and they're fine. So they're going to snack on these to finish these off today. We've also got a veggie tray up here that we're going to finish off for lunch. And then I got these dips. So I picked this dip up because I wasn't sure that I had a Fiesta Ranch packet, but we did. So I'll be able to just utilize this maybe next week or just for snacking on this week. I need to add carrots to my list and that way because that's what like we love the most is dipping carrots in dip and then I also picked these up from Target to take to my parents. These are my two favorite hummuses that 
carrot that Target has. They are super delicious. This one tastes just like brownie batter. Like it's so good and I love it with fruit. We did have a fruit tray, but of course that one's already all gone. But we've got the brownie batter, dessert hummus. There's probably about half left in there. And then this black bean hummus is my other absolute favorite taste. I mean, just like a taco dip, like the refried beans mixed with salsa kind of. It tastes really, really good. And there's about half of that left. So we've got that there. I picked these up when I was at Target because I wasn't sure if we had any, any on hand, which we do, but that's okay. Pearl loves pickles and they last a really long time. So that's just gonna hang out in here until we need it. And then um, one of the meals last week that I did not make is a veggie omelet. So I still have the spinach and the red bell pepper from that and we're having breakfast for dinner tonight and I'm gonna make this. So we can utilize that over here. I've got a heavy whipping cream and then some cream cheese and a butter that I do not have inside. I've, I can probably, I've used enough butter now that I can probably open this and put that inside, but that's it. That's all I've got in the fridge out here. This freezer, I'm not gonna open because that is Paige's. She has a lot of her stuff in there, so I'm not gonna open that. It's everything that she likes to eat. But this freezer, is the freezer that I like to keep stocked just in case, you know, we're like home for a long period of time. But I do have quite a bit in here that, like I said, I wanna start going through and utilizing it. So I'll start with the door first. I tried to organize it the best that I could with the time that I had the other day. So I've got some garlic and ginger up here, some bacon. Um, this is a bunch of veggies. So I've got these, this zucchini blend. I'm actually using this for a meal prep this week for a lunch. And then back here, Paige and I love these, so I haven't been eating these. We picked these up and then she went out of town. So I'm gonna save them until she comes back into town, but we've got some breaded Brussels sprouts here, two boxes of that, and then some breaded zucchini sticks. They are super, super yummy, um, especially if you cook them in the air fryer. All right, here I've got some country fried steaks, some sausage, beef and broccoli from Trader Joe's, these blackened chicken breast chips, chicken breast strips. Mark's the only one who likes them. And is this even opened? It is opened. I might see if my parents want this. He just doesn't eat it a whole lot. And it's been in here for quite a while. So if it doesn't have like a ton of freezer burn on it, I'll probably see if my parents want it because I know they like these. And then I picked these up for Mark a while ago and I haven't, I just need to prep them for him so he can take them to work. But they're hot and spicy chicken wings or just add to a quick dinner one night. I actually have, they might be good. Um, I have this on the meal plan for this week to eat. So maybe I'll add this. I'll cook this at the same time. They're both Trader Joe's and that way he can eat that if he wants. Okay, we've got like potatoes on this, in this section these crispy crowns. Um, I picked this up just to have for a lunch one day. I'll probably cook half of this bag when I make hot dogs for the kids one day. I've got some french fries here. Um, these are the hash brown potatoes from Trader Joe's. I actually have something in mind for this, a casserole I'm gonna make. And then these are the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions from Trader Joe's that I like to cook in the air fryer. They're super yummy. And then with over easy eggs, so they're nice and yolky. Eat them with this, it's super yummy. Okay, coming down here, um, I saw these. An ad on Facebook, I think, sold me. I have all the sauces, like the dips that come with this on the in the inside fridge, but I picked these up for Paige. Um, it actually came with a steamer too. She loves them. So this is something that she enjoys. I haven't gotten to try them yet, so I might, once she gets back into town, make a dinner with these, and that way we can eat some of these up. And then I've got some other like various wonton pot sticker type of stuff. So um, these are things that Paige definitely loves to eat, and I try to add on the side of any like Chinese takeout type dinners that we have. So got those going on. Then I've got some seafood down here. So I've got kind of like the last of our butcher box. We were using them for quite a while. Um, and now I just use every plate, but I've got some salmon in here, some sea scallops. I think this is mahi. Yeah, we've got some mahi mahi here and then some cod, everything crusted cod right there. So that's everything in the door. Coming down here, this is a little ice chest that Mark likes to use, and then we've got some various ice, ice, various ice packs and um, like ices that we use for mixed drinks. I've got some pecans right here, and then some schnitzel. These are kind of like the boxes that I had in here. Baked brie, this has been in here forever. I bought it, I don't even know when, around the holidays and never used it, so 
hopefully this holiday season I'll bust those out <laughs> and then I had three or four of these and we've cooked all but the blackberry one so I've got one blackberry tart left coming up here this is kind of like all the veggies that I've got so I've got some cauliflower rice lots of broccoli I've got some broccoli green beans broccoli green beans broccoli peas I think that's pretty much it so we're set on the brock on the green veggies <laughs> on the side of dinners up here i've got a two pack of chicken breasts here some shrimp here that i couldn't fit in the door so i just put it here i've got some garlic butter shrimp and some popcorn shrimp some pie tarts here or pie crusts i've got this one and then those right there then let me stand up this is all meat so i've got like sausages diced ham pork pork chops and ground pork i think or is it all pork chops I can't remember, but I've got pork in here. This is chicken breast in here, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And then in here, it's a mixture of a chicken breast and a beef, different types of beef. I've got beef steak, I've got ground beef. Again, this is stuff that we get from every plate. All right, and then last but not least in this freezer, we've got all the bread <laughs> up here. I've got various sandwich breads up here, like individually wrapped. And then I have some pretzel buns in here. I think I have a loaf of bread. I have a loaf of bread. I might pull that out for the kids. I've got some croissants, some King's Hawaiian rolls, some non bites. And then in the rest of the bread in this bin is everything that I got from Wild Grain. So here's some, oh yummy. Here's some sourdough bread. I was gonna make bread and meal prep this week, but I might put that off till next week um, and make sure I utilize this. Cause this, I love sourdough bread for sandwiches. I was gonna make some homemade bread for sandwiches, but I think I'm gonna use the sourdough. And I've got some other stuff in here, but I'll try to share it on Instagram or if I do utilize this for any kind of meal prep, I'll share that in a video, but I'll share more about Wild Grain there. I'll have a link in the description box. They just sent it to me for me to try, but we've had two of their bread so far and they were absolutely delicious. All right, so I don't think I'm forgetting anywhere else. We've just got the garage fridge, garage freezer, and then the main fridge freezer combo inside and the pantry and then our little drink fridge. So for a family of six, definitely got plenty of space to <laughs> keep food and stay stocked up if we uh, feel like we need to do that. But I did want to mention like all the every plate stuff that I have, so I did a video years ago like so i tried a bunch of meal subscription boxes when we lived in the tiny home on my parents property while we were deciding what route we wanted to take what would be the best for our family um but i tried a lot of the subscription boxes and shared them here on youtube and everybody loved every plate and used that link that i shared i wasn't sponsored at that time at all i did that paid my own money all of that but so many people signed up that i have an enormous amount of credit and I just utilize it to get a box. Sometimes I forget to pause it or skip a week. So when I get it in and I have other meals that I like to make, I just put it in the freezer and like the veggies and the meat and stuff like that, the bread, anything that'll freeze, I'll just hold on to. And that's what this freezer mainly holds. So like I said, I need to start going through it. I did contact every plate because they do sponsor me quite often, but I did ask them if I could give away that credit and that's just not how it works. They said there was really no way for them to do that. So I tried to give you guys the credit that I have, but with the food prices and stuff, I was like, you know what, since I can't give it away, I'm just gonna utilize every plate to help us out each week. I get three meals and we'll just dwindle down that credit. So when you guys see my meal plan, about every about three meals out of the five that I plan for the week are from every plate and you just pay the shipping, which is I think $7.99, $6.99, $7.99, something like that. So I'll have like a generic link. I'm not, this is not sponsored by every plate or anything like that, but I do utilize them. I love them. We love their meals. They're super easy to make. Paige picks some out sometimes and she likes to make them for herself. So I'll have a link in the in the description box in case you guys want to check them out. But I do feel like they are very um, price friendly, especially like going to the grocery store, what the prices are nowadays. But all right, 
let me go inside to like say bye to you guys because it's hot out here. Okay, back in my nice air conditioned house. <laughs> it is another week of 100 plus here in San Antonio, Texas, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry, it's not a grocery haul. Well, it's sort of grocery haul related, but not an actual grocery haul or meal plan. Um, just kind of taking you guys through, showing you guys what I've got a month out of summer vacation. But hopefully we can dwindle this down a little bit more before school starts and we start, you know, get into making school lunches and all of that. The kids have already let me know that they'll probably be more into taking their lunch this year than the last couple of years where they've just eaten lunch at school. So maybe I can share some lunch videos with you guys this school year. But if you guys liked coming along with me, taking a peek inside of where we've got all of our food in this house. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I will have a grocery haul for you guys next week, and I'm also gonna have a meal prep for you guys next week as well. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.